Hey guys and welcome to Problem Solver Garage. Okay guys, behind me is my new car that I just purchased. 1300 bucks guys, not bad. Um, the roof doesn't work, the windows doesn't work, the motor doesn't run good, the transmission slips like crazy. Um, in this video, we have to close the roof guys because I actually don't have room in my garage. I just got the car here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to close the roof when it's broken it's not a repair of the roof video it's how to close a broken roof and then after we close it i'll show you how to open a broken roof guys there is a few crucial steps guys so watch this video it can save you from damaging your roof and also guys this video will cover the fully automatic roof and also it'll cover the partially automatic roof where you grab the little handle and pull it down it will cover both in this video this one is fully automatic okay guys so the first thing you got to do is go inside of the car underneath the back seat let me show you see right here underneath the back seat there is so we're gonna pull this out see there is like a lever here so when you pull on this lever guys let me open up the trunk and show you guys okay so you open up your trunk and if your trunk will not open guys uh, in the description of this video, I have a video that shows you how to open a trunk that will not open, especially on the convertibles. Because sometimes the car thinks that this part's opened, there's a little sensor in there, and something breaks and it won't let you open the trunk. So I'll do a video on that. It will be in the, this description. Okay, so in here, guys, you have two motors. See, there's one motor. That motor controls this thing here goes up and down and this motor here guys controls the roof part that comes out like this and then in some cases there's a third motor that controls this part or if it's not fully automatic then you pull that part by hand if you do have this motor guys you have to make sure that um well i'll get to that but you have to make sure it's set all the way back otherwise uh, these two little hinges will pop out. I will get to that. Okay, so now by pulling on this lever, what that will do is it will pop both these motors out. So this one will come down and this one will come back, which will release basically this door here and the roof. So we're going to pull that right now, guys. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to pull on this. So you see as I pulled that, see that motor popped out and this one also kind of popped out. You might have to give it a push. Sometimes what you got to do guys is you got to get one guy to pull and then you have to push back on here. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, see what I did here? I pulled it and then I just pushed the seat up against it. So it's in fully pulled position guys. So now we can get in here and we're going to give this a push. Ready guys? There it goes, it popped out, see? So that's loose now, that's loose. Okay, so with those disconnected, see now you can just lift this up like so. It's basically popped out of its motor, right? So we're gonna lift this one up and then you can also lift this one up, guys. Only there's one thing I gotta show you here. Okay, I got it up with a stick. This is super duper important, guys. So there's a plastic cover on this that I took off just to be able to see what's going on. So if you have a mechanical one like we do with a motor, see, you have to make sure that these things here, see, these go all the way this way, all the way that way. So you got to make sure they're all the way inwards, both of them. There's one there and there's one on the other side as well. See, you have to make sure they're all the way here. That's when you can open and close this. If these are on the other side, what's gonna end up happening is, see like this thing here? See, this has to go in into this, right? If this doesn't line up, uh, your whole roof can get damaged if you're pressing buttons and trying to move it. It's like that's kind of the problem with these sometimes is you start clicking buttons and instead of opening this and moving this, it starts to run this motor and these, get put in the wrong spot and then eventually somebody opens the roof and these don't line up and that's when things can get bent guys so you have to make sure that these are all the way inwards on both sides uh, before you start opening this okay so i'm gonna 
uh, put that board away and I'm gonna open this right now because ours is set correctly. Okay guys, so all you do is just pull this up. this up like this, this just goes down, this goes like that, okay, now you're ready for the next step. Okay guys, so inside the car now, see this is the part I was talking about, see, this here, see this right here has to go into this, see if you have these right here the other way, this doesn't line up because that it's like that those move when you close this part right so this has to be an open position in order to move this around see that's how people break these roofs they might have this set up like that when it's closed and then they force it closed and things start bending here so ours is correct this is in here so what we got to do now is you grab yourself a t25 little socket like this t25 right and right here see right here on this motor like if you didn't have the fully fully one you would just pull the handle and close it and you're done here but in our case we got the automatic fully automatic see so that goes in there and you're gonna put a drill on that you're gonna put it on and you're gonna start drilling and that will move these things right here guys it'll start moving them the other way which will then start lowering this once it gets there, these hooks will close. So I'm gonna do that right now, guys. Okay, guys, there it goes. So you just have to make sure that these right here are going in the right direction, see? Ah, the socket fell out. Okay, let me do this again. See, there it goes, guys. Yeah, I'll just move these for you guys. Okay, let's try and keep going again here. And there you go. You just make sure when you're closing these, you don't want to over tighten them. You just get these right to the end, almost. There you go, guys. So that is how you close one of these roofs manually. Check it out see there you go it's nice and tight it's not going anywhere guys not bad eh okay guys so what we're gonna do next is i'm gonna show you how to open it now because there is a little bit of a trick at the end to lock that that closing part there's no way to lock it if stuff's broken guys so i'll show you that but before i do that just hear me out for one second so what i'm doing guys is i'm doing an entire series on this car guys an entire series this is actually episode one so i just got it here and we're gonna be restoring this whole thing like i have an episode where i'm gonna fix the motor because it doesn't run good um the automatic transmission slips like crazy so we're actually gonna be doing um a manual transmission swap on this i'm gonna have super detailed videos video one will be removal of the manual transmission out of our parts car uh video two will be removal of the automatic transmission out of this car guys and then video three of that series will be uh putting the manual transmission all the parts you need everything will be explained putting it into this and making it work what you have to do to the computer everything detailed detailed videos about everything i have detailed videos about vacuum systems you name it guys so subscribe to this channel and follow this project guys i'm gonna get this whole car looking pimp for under three grand that's my budget for this whole build including the car so that's what we're gonna be doing guys okay guys let me get back to showing you how to open the roof now if you're desperate to open yours and it's completely broken and you want to cruise around with the roof down there is a way to do it Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your drill, just like before, only this time you're gonna turn this in the opposite direction, right? And you wanna get these things to go all the way to this side now without touching it, like just like how we did there. So I'm gonna do that right now in real time, guys. 
So you gotta make sure these are going in the right direction. See, so that lifts up. You're basically, that's why you want your cover off so you can watch these things. So you don't go too far and break something. See, it's getting there, getting there. Sorry for the sunlight, guys. Okay, that should be good. That's where you want it, guys. So once you're at that point. Now it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna lift this back up again. We're gonna lift this. Put this in here. See now that this is up the correct way. Okay guys, so we got it down. See now the problem is getting this to lock. Cause you don't wanna be driving down the road and the wind catches it whoosh, and breaks it off, right? So that's the hardest part here. So I'm gonna show you a quick little way to do it. So what you'll have to do is get a buddy to push on this cause there is a little sensor in there. And if that sensor is not pressed, the truck, the trunk won't open. In our case, something's wrong with the trunk. Every time this opened, the trunk wouldn't open at all. It was completely stuck shut. So another thing you can do guys is you can open your trunk and right here, there is two little wires. See these brown wires. If you cut these, um, that goes to that sensor. So you can bypass this whole trunk locking situation. Once you cut those, you can open your trunk and close it whenever you want. doesn't matter what position the roof is in. Like that's the idea of that. So the trunk can open when this is opened and vice versa, right? So we bypass that so we can open our trunk whenever we want. So now what you gotta do guys is you get in here and like I said, this is like if you're desperate and this thing doesn't work and you're gonna pop this motor back in guys, just this one, not the other one. See, it's popped back in. You might have to get somebody to move this a little bit while you're doing that. So now that that motor is popped in, see guys, this thing is now locked. The motor's holding it, right? but it's still up too high. And like I said, let's just say nothing works in your car, right? So what I did back here, so I went in here guys and see these two wires. There is a red one and there's a black one. So these two wires go directly to this motor. Like that's what controls this motor that opens uh, that door up and down, right? Um, so what I did is I, I did cut them. I mean, you can always reattach them if you have to, if you, get a new computer or something that controls all this see i cut them right there so now i can wire right into these so i got one wire hooked up and another one to disconnect it i'll hook that back up in a second and tape it up right and then i got this running here and i just got it running out of here so i can just close the trunk and then i'll have two wires like this guys okay so you take these two wires i connected that in between takes um, so you take these two wires, you grab yourself a little 12 volt battery, for example. See, just like this, this is out of like a tractor, like a lawnmower tractor, right? 12 volt battery. And now you grab your two little wires here and depending on how you hook them up, like if you hook them up in one direction, this way, for example, this thing will start going up. And if you put them on the other way, this thing will start going down. So this is like a quick little hack of how you can do this if you're desperate to go for a drive here let me show you okay guys right so if you hook it up see that completely closes it now you're good to go for a cruise this thing's locked but also if you put them the other way what you can do see you can open it there now you can open up your roof right and then close it back up So like I said, guys, uh, this isn't a video about fixing it. This is a video of how to get around a broken one. So what you could do is like, instead of that battery, right? If you wanted to, like I'm gonna do this in a further episode where I'm gonna fix this roof so it all works, but there's not gonna be a computer controlling it. Cause I live in a place where these cars basically don't exist. I got nowhere to get parts and I am on a budget here, guys. I don't wanna spend a lot of money. So, I mean, all you gotta do is get a polarity reversing switch and you could just run a switch inside your car, right? And you could just bzzz, open this, bzzz, right? Pull the roof out manually. You could have another switch for that front motor. Bzzz, bzzz, like that's what, what I'm gonna eventually do. 
I'll have another video on that guys but in this video I did show you how to open and close it you know if it's broken so I did what I said I was gonna do so give me a thumbs up and a like guys and remember guys follow the whole build of this car I'm gonna be fixing the windows everything basically nothing works in this car guys so thanks for watching problem solver garage till next time everybody follow the series make sure you do bye guys i love problem solver garage